I believe that I am live. I just have a, um, I just have about an hour to play around. I just have about, an hour. and I wanted to see how that all worked. Do a quick KSP stream for a while. Let's see. I would like to start new. I'm going to try to race to Elu in this. So I'm just going to name this race to Elu. Normal difficulty. I didn't really install any mods. I do have uh, Kerbal Engineer because I am an engineer and I cannot live without Kerbal Engineer. Uh, so let's make it trees. Trees, trees, trees. Let's go. All right, I got it, buddy. Let's see. Gather scientific data from Kerbin. Sounds good. Launch our first vessel. Sounds great. Got it. Bam. Uh, we're not even going to take off on our first mission. We're just going to do some science gathering. So let's put a few of those. Uh, we might only need one. I don't know. Uh, change my mind. Let's take off. We will get a parachute. That is useful. Huh. Do you seriously not even start with... I was pretty sure you started with at least uh, temperature and pressure gauges. But it would appear those are in the first research node. So, no biggie. Let's just get this guy. We've got all that. Put those on separate stages. Save, launch. Uh, what we should be able to do is observe the mystery goo, keep that data, crew report, keep that experiment, EVA, EVA report, keep it, grab the crew experiment, bam, go back in. What key? B? B to go back in. It's been a while since I've played KSP, so I might be a little out of it. But to holy sh... That's, uh, that's, that's pretty dangerous there. <laughs> All right, I dig it. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going a little high here. <laughs> Let's turn sideways. Present a, a nice broad profile while we're falling down. Maybe it'll slow us. <laughs> Yes, and it has been quite a while. Oh, nope. Apparently, uh, Jebediah couldn't maintain horizontality there. I'll just try to use some lift effect to maybe... I wonder if you can sort of rock it back and forth. Mm, my speed is going down. Maybe not fast enough, but it looks like it's safe to deploy parachutes, so let's just do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. What we got? Come on, don't crash. This is our first flight. There we go. Oh, man. That is painful. Oh, slow it down. I'm still, I've been playing KSP for a while, so I'm pretty cautious of the physics engine. All right, 33 science. I approve. I approve. Let's go ahead and get some engineering. Uh, we also could get pressure there. That'd be useful. Sure, why not? Spend science to make science. That's what I always say. Uh, we'll research that. Next science node is 45. We cannot afford anything else. All right. What missions? I don't think we could escape the atmosphere quite yet. Focused survey. Nerd's dream. Dinkelstein's triumph. Let's just look. I doubt any of them are close enough to really make it worth it. Well... They might be. Altitude below 16 kilometers. Altitude below 18 kilometers. 
I think I would have to make a ballistic arc to really succeed on that, and I don't know how close I have to be. Um, so let's see, Nerd's Dream. Probably don't want to do that. The mountains can screw you up. If you're right above them, your parachute might not bring you down to speed fast enough. But let's check this out. OM54T4. OM 54T4, below 6900. What's the reward on that? That's actually a decent reward. Okay, why not? Let's try. Let us try it. Let's see, trivial, you have five years to complete. That's, we're, we're not gonna fail that one. I'm more worried about it taking up a slot and us having to um, lose some reputation there. But that's fine. That'll be our main thing for a little while. 16,900 meters. And what kind of observation do you have to do? A crew report? Yeah, probably should have made sure of that. Could have been disastrous. Uh, okay. So let's see about a slightly bigger booster. Let's see about decoupling. Okay. I approve of all of this so far. We should have more science we can do. I thoroughly approve of that. Okay. That should make us pretty good here. I think that would probably enable us to get where we want to go, but... Maybe. We'll see. Before we do that real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and take a pressure and temperature measurement. There we go. And then recover vessel. We will get that science and then we can quickly get back out on the launch pad. Next, 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 done. Vehicle assembly and launch. Okay, so I need to go southeast, almost directly southeast. Well, let's just see. Let's just see how close we can get with a regular old booster. Okay, we completed a bunch of missions. That's what I like to see. And... Oh, you know what? <laughs> this is going to make us go way too fast. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's north. Uh, it's a little bit of a low trajectory. But we may actually make it. Okay, where's the... Okay, let's try taking a crew report. No? I thought I was flying right over it. It's not even giving me a... Uh... I'm in? Oh no, I wasn't low enough. Okay, well, yeah, not much I can do about that. Let's keep the experiment, let's log the pressure data, let's log the temperature. And then I guess we'll take a few more, a few more measurements whenever we crash down in the sea. So that's fine with me. Let's go. World's first. I like that those are all compacted now. Whenever those were individual missions, sometimes you had to manually accept them. 
Uh, it just didn't work too great. All right, here we go. Here we come. I guess let's just activate it. Activate that parachute. Slow it down as it gets to a thousand. Do not want to bork the physics engine. That is never fun. And you can take it from me. I've killed many a Jebediah. Sorry for the black screen, I'm just checking the stream to see if I can... There we go. Let's do a crew report. Do a new mystery go. Did I... Okay. Looks good to me. Let's get an EVA report. Let's take the crew report. And crew reported again. There we go. All right, that's a good amount of science. I like it. I do like it. That would be enough to get basic science. Science to get science, guys. That's the way to go. Uh, I should be able to get myself to that um, focus survey mission. Let's go ahead and put it below the decoupler, or above the decoupler. So we will have a science junior over here. Real quick, let's just see what our thrust to weight ratio, or actually let's base it off delta V. So 1600 with the science junior. 1700 without. So I think we will be fine. Our thrust rate ratio, let's keep that in the 2.5 range. Uh, but that should be good for another go at that mission. If we don't get it this time, we'll just revert. Okay, we're going southeast this time. I want to cut it pretty close to the ground. Okay, since we have lower thrust, we probably need to be pointed a little further up than we were last time to achieve the same altitude. But we want a lower altitude. So I think this is probably about where we want it. Another world's first. That is good. I don't think any of these... Oh, that's interesting. Huh. I guess I didn't get those before. Hmm. I don't even know if I'm going to be going far enough to get this. Just keep an eye on the map. Okay, we're pretty close. And I, our altitude is not too high this time. So let's go ahead and try and get that crew report. There we go. I like it. Money, money, money. Oh, um, let's observe materials bay. There we go. That's some good science. Couple that sucker. And then I think. I think I've already gotten most of the science here. Not a whole lot. Can we get this flipped around? Yep, nope. Come on. There we go. No. Ah.
now. May not be super relevant. Uh, luckily, I'm not pointing at the rocks there. So let's go ahead and deploy parachute. Come on, parachute. You can do it. Perfect. Okay. And we splash down. Another successful splash down. I believe we've already got all of the measurements we can get from being splashed down. Oh, I didn't have pressure data. Uh, don't overwrite that. Why don't you take it? Do an EVA report slash down. No, nope, already got it. All right, I think we've got a decent amount of science. All right, 41 science earned. I like it. I'm liking this more and more. Let's get some general rocketry. Let's get some fins, side decouplers, all that kind of thing. And I'm wondering where the fuel lines are because those are just massive fuel systems. Okay. So I'm, I'm probably aiming for fuel systems next. Uh, or, you know, electrics could be very useful as well. Let's see what missions we can get. I think we could probably escape the atmosphere pretty easily now. Any of these other ones that pay a lot? That pays a lot. Let's see. TD-12 decoupler and a suborbital trajectory. I just have to test it. Suborbital 230 to 240. I think that's very doable. I think that is very doable. I'm trying to think how much delta V I would need for that. Just at a guess, we'll say a few, th definitely a few thousand. Mm. Since Kerbin is so small, I'm kind of used to playing on Realism Overhaul. I want to say like 5,000, maybe, because it takes, or no, it only takes 4,000 to get into orbit, doesn't it? I was thinking of the Earth. That's the Earth is nine thousand meters per second to get into a good orbit. Uh, so let's definitely accept that, and let's accept that as well. Yeah, it's a that's a good chunk of change actually. It gives us a little bit of science. I think that's just a good mission to speed us along. Right, wonderful. I love it. So, what do we want to do? I think we want this to be on the very bottom. Probably want a liquid fuel stage up here. Let's put a little, put a little engine on there. We have so much gimbling power; it's ridiculous in this game. Uh, and that is the TD-12 coupler that they want us to test. So if we test it right there, that should be fine. We'll just decouple at the very end. Do we have additional science? Mm, not really. Do we need batteries? Not for this mission. Never hurts to put a heat shield on, but I doubt we'll need it. Okay, let's make a new stage. We will stick this. Okay, that's that engine. What is this? Oh. Oh, I see. That looks a little that looks a little unbalanced. What's our what are our stages here? Let's get that guy into our bottom stage. That's only 562. Yeah, no, we want something a little more. That's 2.2. That's a little better. That is a very long rocket. So we definitely want some fins. Uh, 
that's probably fine, but let's limit the thrust just a little bit. 1.85, how about that? Oh, you can limit thrust on... Well, that's fine, because we can just control the thrust. Uh, so that's fine. We do have the... That does, that does fit into all our requirements, which is going to start to become an issue later on. Uh, and that gives us... That should give us plenty to get into a high suborbital trajectory. So, let's aim for that. Actually, we're not going to be able to control the thrust on that, so let's just dial it back even a little bit more. And that will be our sub orbiter one historic moment. I, wait, what? I'm confused. Okay, so we got this, we got that, we got that, and then we just decouple and use the parachute. I think that should be fine. I don't think this is going to burn up from a high suborbital trajectory. I could be wrong, but we'll try not to go too high. We'll try not to go that high. So, suborbiter one, there we go. Let's launch. And we will have to immediately fire this because I did not put any kind of launch clamp. For bigger rockets, you always want a launch clamp, but this one isn't that big. Ooh, that's really low. I thought the uh, I thought a 1.5 thrust weight ratio would be higher than that. Okay, 230 to 240 is our is our goal. Unfortunately, we can't speed up this portion of it. I am starting to list towards the west a little bit there. I am trying to the best of my ability to gimbal back east a little bit, but I don't think that's very successful right now. Oh, I don't have Kerbal's... I don't have Kerbal Engineer info because I don't have the microchip on board. Alright, and we are going to... Come on, there we go. No, 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 no. Oh, you freaking hell. Ah. Oh, what a disaster. I really didn't think. I thought I would be high enough that uh, aerodynamic forces didn't affect me as much. Come on, man. Oh, I can't get to the map at this rate. Come on, come on. Oh, and that's a completely non that's a completely non-gimbling um, rocket as well. Oh come on. There we go. Stay there. Stay there. I'll turn your thrust way down so I can go to the I don't think that's gonna be high enough. No, with all that dicking around. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Let's just keep trying. Keep trying, keep trying. Nope. Mm, oh, that was... That's so close. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, all right. Well, we can take some observations up here, get some good science. All right, I think that's about everything I can get. I can't EVA yet. Mm -hmm. What's our electric? Oh man, we had all kinds of electric. Okay, we're in upper atmosphere. I'm going to attempt to get any... Huh, okay, I guess. None of those count as new information. I thought I had... Okay. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, let's break off a little bit. Ooh, I do have some speed. Oh, man. Uh, I'm a little worried about that Science Junior. Oh, no. 
Oh, wow, that was close. Okay. Well, the Science Junior survives again, and I totally forgot to get that in space. Alright, well, good enough for me. Yep, slow us down, slow us down, slow us down. Yep, there we go. And successful touchdown. Another another mission. You've survived again. Mm-hmm. Yep. Go ahead and take the crew experiment, take an EVA report. And recover. All right, it's a decent little chunk of science. So do I want to get this or that? That is a larger decoupler, Mach 1 crew cabin. That would be a launch enhancer. Oh, I might want to get that. That might be the thing to do, actually. That's significantly better, um, significantly better ISP in vacuum. That means it's very efficient. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get that. Yep, 45. Once I have 90, I can get those fuel systems. Just looking for anything else I may want. Definitely want some photovoltaic panels. Those are going to enable me to do uh, very useful things. Mm -hmm. Eventually we can go to the moon with a lot of these. You need landing struts for sure. Assuming you want to do it proper, which I do. I saw a couple videos of people who just essentially strap boosters with no nose cones or anything to a rocket and called it a day, but it's not really my style. I don't think I want to do these tourist missions. What is the TS-06 stack separator? That's, that's in orbit. I don't know which one that is, actually. TS-06. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know. Okay. So I still have that active mission to get up to 230,000 meters. And I think we just need some slight tweaking to make that happen. Uh, but while we're thinking about it, let's go ahead and upgrade a few things. Upgrade our launch pad. Um, do I want to do that? I'm not sure. EVAs would be very nice. I think I'm going to do EVAs, because that will allow me to get a decent amount up in space, a decent amount of science, and all that, all that jazz. Uh, and it will also allow me to do something very nice. I don't fully understand why it the shrouding expanded so much to encapsulate that heat shield. But hopefully that doesn't screw me up too badly. Uh, and then the other thing I wanted to do was to change this out for another engine that is more fuel efficient. So there we go. You can see my thrust weight ratio is only 1.12. However, uh, my delta V now has gone up to um, like 2700 in vacuum. So that should be sufficient for now. Uh, the only other thing I was wanting to do, let's go ahead and bump that up just a little. Give a thrust weight of 1.6. All right, and there was, there was one other thing 
I'm having trouble thinking of right now. I would like a Kerbal engineering system on here. Slap that on. And then there was one other thing as well. I can't quite remember. Oh, I wanted fins. Yeah, I wanted more fins. Let's go ahead and put a few, just a few fins on here. Hopefully it won't be totally unbalanced, but let's put six on here just to be safe. All right, that's my new suborbiter one. Stages look correct. Let's launch. Let's go. Let's do this, Leroy Jenkins. Okay, I got to launch quick. Bam. There we go. Beautiful. You can see my Delta V over here is going up pretty quick. It's very nice. Uh, and then because I have the flight engineer open over here, I can look at all kinds of things. I could look at my Apple website right there, and I don't have to open up the um, I don't have to open up the map to look at how high I'm going to go. That's very useful. I'm not going to be as far out of the atmosphere as I wanted, but you can already see, I mean, the atmosphere is thin enough that I'm going to have uh, pretty good efficiency on this next engine. So I'm pretty happy about that. So let's fire it up. There we go. We do have fins, so we're not completely barreling off into nothingness. Uh, and I'm a little worried. You can see my surface speed is actually decreasing now it's increasing again but my apple apps height is increasing quicker than my altitude so that's a good thing uh, i'm really hoping that i've got enough power just raw power here to uh, actually get up to the full 230,000 meters but we'll find out so it looks like the total burn on this uh, how do I look at the burn? It's going to be another two minutes. Right, and it's saying I'll get to Apoapsis. And so my time to Apoapsis is increasing, so that's also a good sign. Got a few more world firsts. That's good. Got the escape the atmosphere. That is also good. Yeah, so you can tell that despite this being more efficient, it is um, undoubtedly a worse engine. Uh, absolutely no doubt about that. All right, so now I've got to watch my app website pretty closely. Okay, we're at 150,000, just a little bit more. We are in space, so we're on a purely ballistic trajectory. Uh, so I'm really not too worried about attaining extra height. As long as I'm above 230,000, I should have no trouble uh, testing this to cup. Uh, so before we do that, let's go ahead and observe it. There we go. We can do an EVA. We can climb down just a little bit. Snag that data. Yep. Okay, EVA report. There we go. That's good. Uh, let's do a crew report. That's not going to give us any new information. Is there anything that will? I'll get a tiny bit more from doing repeated 
uh, mystery goo. All right, but the data's out of that now, so that's that's useless. It's not going to be a big deal whenever we eject that. And I do believe, unless unless we transfer from lo space low to space high, which I don't believe we do. Oh, they even give you the altitude there. Um. Okay, that's pretty useful. Uh, I think I'm going to increase my apoaps until it's above 250, because that's where the... Uh, that's actually where the boundary is between space low and space high. So I can get some extra science up there. But I can still test the decoupler in that smaller region between 230 and 240. Okay, so my apoaps is now 256,000, so that's good. As soon as we're between 230 and 240, we can test that decoupler, which I believe will activate it. Uh, okay, let's read this. Activate the part through the staging sequence when all test conditions are met. Okay, so that's the next stage. So we are just going to wait until all test conditions are met. Twenty-eight, two twenty-nine, and two thirty. There we go. And that was the contract complete. So we got fifty thousand. It's a decent amount of money. I do love money. I am an engineer after all. Pretty soon we should be able to get some space high science. Fast forward just a little bit there. All right, we are in space high, if Kerbal Engineer is to be believed. Yep, would appear so. So let us go ahead and get all the science we can. Get it, get it, get it. Crew report, mm-hmm. Looks good to me. I'm just gonna take all the data. I mean, why not? Gonna get an EVA report at space high. Yeah, that's pretty good. Get back in there. I think um, I think we're in good shape. Yeah, I think we can just fast forward to uh, till we're back in the atmosphere. One thing I do want to do at a very high altitude, like as soon as we enter the atmosphere. Okay. I want to get an AVA report. EVA report. Yep. Okay. Get back in there. There we go. Now we have an EVA report from the high atmosphere. So that is wonderful. Kerbal Space Center is way off in the distance there. Not too worried about this. Um, if anything, my goo collection containers may blow off. Looks like the um, looks like the G forces are a little high there, but I'm not too concerned about it. There we go. Should be safe to deploy the parachute. Oh man, that is not centered at all. I was not paying close attention. Those aren't centered either. Man, sorry to anybody who has OCD. Genuinely, sincerely, or OCPD, perhaps. Mm hmm. There we go. Touchdown. Recover. How much science did we get? Hundred and eight. I approve of that. I'm gonna get my fuel systems that I've been wanting. I'm going to get some electrics. 
And I think the next thing I would be aiming for after that would probably be landing stuff. Because if we can get landing struts, we can land on... Uh, we could at least land on Minmus. And with solar panels, we can do ext more extended missions. You know, uh, these different winglets will be useful, but I don't know how useful they will be exactly. Oh man, but that's also really useful. Okay, well I can't afford electrics. I don't think I need heavy rocketry yet. And I don't know why they don't have massive fuel tanks in there. It's kind of interesting. Okay, that's going to be very useful in the short term. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get that. Again, I don't play uh, KSP super often. Last time I did, I was playing on the Ultra Realism mode, which you can look up on YouTube. Um, I did not end up completing that. It was just taking a bit too much time for me. Uh, to push those episodes out. I would do, you know, a couple hours of uh, building rockets for every, you know, half hour episode I produced. All right, let's see. Yep, definitely want to orbit. I think that's a sensible contract. I don't even know what the TS-06 is. See, I would just accept it and find out, but I'm really worried that it's going to be some massive, massive separator. Um, let's see if I have it. Okay, that would be under call. TS-06. I don't have anything like it. I have no idea what it could be. No idea at all. Okay, so it's a TS something. So it would probably be under one of these. But yeah, I, I can't find it anywhere. Maybe it would be miniaturization. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's a little itty bitty stack separator. And what do I have to do with it? I just have to be in orbit. My altitude has to be 180 to 190. And then I just have to activate it through the staging sequence. Yeah. That seems pretty easy. Okay. Let's do it. Um, excuse me for one second. I'm just going to check the delta V. So we're talking about maybe 3,400. We'll say about 4,000 thousand delta v to get up into orbit i'm going to just assume that's about what i need all right do i need any additional science also let's straighten these suckers up just a little And it is impossible. Well, that is good to know. Oh, I don't want two of them anyway. I'll tell, we, tell you what I'll do just for you. I will rotate it. But it's actually not in the perfect location. I will move it ever so slightly and then rotate it again. Uh, it's pretty close. Don't say I never did anything for you. Alright, it's not perfect, but it is very close. Alright. So, we definitely want to 
rebuild this whole thing. So top stage, um, I'm gonna say is probably gonna be about the same. Should not need any fins. Uh, and actually, let's pull one of those out. There we go. I'm gonna have another liquid stage below that. About. I don't know. Is that? Let's do that. I am going to want a swivel engine. I think that's gonna be better. All right, so my top stage is going to have about 2,000. That stage might have about 1,500 or so, so that's 3,500. Then, if we... Let's put about four winglets. Okay, let's put about four radial couplers. And about four solid boosters. There we go. Four nose cones. There we go. That is beautiful. And then, of course, we need to complete our mission. Oh, oops. I'm losing myself. There we go. To complete our mission. Put up that on there. Somewhere sure where it makes the most sense. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Seems a little sketchy, but we'll just try it. If it doesn't work, we can redesign. So we've got these guys, um, and what I can do is reduce the thrust. Okay, we want to be at sea level. So we reduce the thrust on these to about 1.5. That may have been the issue before. I may have thought I was at 1.6 thrust, and I was actually at like 1.2. That's why I was going a lot slower. But regardless, we fire those, let them off fire that, that gives us a thrust weight of about 1.3 or 1.7, depending on where I am. And that should be gracious plenty um, thrust for everything I'm doing here. Alright, we will call this Orbiter 1. Save that. I think that is pretty good. I don't believe I have any new science stuff to give myself. I do have rechargeable battery packs, but I'm not too worried about running out of battery on this mission. Um, and one parachute should be gracious plenty. So let us go ahead and do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Let's see, do I have enough money? I do have enough money. Let's do it. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and put a launch stabilizer on here. Hmm, kind of inconvenient. We can just hold it from the top, I guess. That's bound not to go wrong. Okay. That should be fine. Let's put a couple more. A couple more of these guys on here. All right, so we fire those and we immediately unlatch the clamp. Let's go. We are set. Nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> oh man, I can see that flexing. That's not, uh, 
I hope that doesn't explode as soon as I fire up the uh, engines here. Oh man, that is not suspended from the best place. All right, at least it didn't come apart on the launch pad. Let us try it out. Oh, oh man, ow, oh no, oh geez, no. That is the opposite of the direction I want to be going. <laughs> okay, you know what? Not too concerned about it. Let's just go back to the vehicle assembly. You know what? Why not? I'll just hold it right there. I don't even care. All right. There we go. And we are off to the races. Just a reminder, our goal is to get to an orbit of uh, 180,000 to 190,000. Uh, hmm. You know, I wasn't really thinking here. Well, I'm not going to worry too much about it. If I am unable to get home, I'll just get out and push. Alright, doing pretty good. Our apoapsis is 22,000 here. Unfortunately, I have very little control over this, or I would be initiating a gravity turn here but uh, honestly I have so much extra fuel I'm not too worried about it there we go and let us Woo! explosion one of them escaped no a couple of them escaped I don't wanna okay atmosphere starting to get real thin so I don't have to worry too much about it and you can see my apoaps is already like really high this is definitely a non-traditional, non-traditional ascent profile. All right, eccentricity is 0.94 and coming down. You know, honestly, I could allow my apoaps to come up just a little more. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna be golden when it comes to this. I am not even the slightest bit worried about not making orbit right now, because I believe you only need like what thirty five hundred meters a second, or it's some tiny amount. We're about to run out. There we go. There we go. Excellent, I am now gimbling. Gimbling my way about. Eccentricity is coming really down. My periaps is climbing. This is, um, yeah, this is quite interesting. Not really sure what to do here. Let's point down a little bit. Periaps is still, or sorry, Apoaps is still going up more than I would probably prefer. Okay. Well, at any rate, we're not going to have to worry about too much here. Electric charge is 48.68. Uh, I believe in the base game, that doesn't really go down very much over time. If 
you don't have SAS turned on. And orbital speed is only like 2200. I mean, that is that is super low. That would explain why the Delta V map says it takes 3400 meters a second to get into orbit. I mean, with this amount of fuel, I could almost go to the moon. I don't know. I don't think I could go back. I don't believe I could go back. Uh, but if I wait just a little bit and I were to point straight down and fire, I think it would actually equalize my orbit a little bit. Let me try that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. There we go. Point straight down. You can see my periaps is coming out. Up, my apoaps is going down. So my periaps at least is in space right now. My apoaps is, you know, 180 or something, 190. All right, a few more world firsts. Those build up, you know, each one is not worth a whole lot, but over time. They're pretty useful. Hmm. So I'm thinking, uh, cause here's what I did, right? I took that, that contract in order to activate this in orbit, that's the um, really small stack separator I have above this larger one. Uh, but the problem is, as soon as I activate that, I'm not going to be able to use my engine. And the problem, or a problem, is that I have to be in orbit in order to actually do it. Um, Hmm? Oh. Hmm, it's not very much science, but... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna reset that. Oh, no, I don't even... I don't want to go through the hassle of getting up into high, high space just to do that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start my engine at a very slow rate whenever the other contract parameters are fulfilled. Then I'm going to activate it. Right, that's the one I have to activate. Um, and then, as I'm doing that, I'm going to be watching my periaps. And I want my periaps to be down around 40, 30 or 40,000, because that's really ideal for coming out of orbit. Um, once that happens, I'm going to gimbal my... Um, the 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 cockpit the cabin and hopefully throw off the rocket behind me and it'll go shooting off into space and become space debris or more likely crash to Kerbin. so i think that's what i'm gonna do i have no idea if it's gonna work well but i can do it right at the apple apps because the apple apps is within the parameters of the mission so good deal i approve I approve of Engineer's plan, despite myself being Engineer. Let's see, so I'm going to warp up there. There we go, happy little warp. All right, I'm going to point retrograde. Yeah. Pointing retrograde here. All right, good deal. Uh, all of the contract parameters are satisfied, so I'm going to very, very gently turn on my throttle, and then I'm going to stage. Yep, you can hear it. I staged. There we go. I staged, I staged, I staged. My periaps is coming down because that rocket is still behind me despite not being connected. That is coming down sufficiently slow 
So I'm, I'm glad that this plan is going well so far. You can see I'm not even connected to the rocket, but it is pushing me because it just continues. It's dumb. It continues doing whatever you were doing whenever you disconnected from it. So this is what's known as a pro gamer move. 50,000. At about 40,000, I'm going to try to buck it. 48. 40, and I can just watch it here. 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41. There we go. We booked it. It goes off. It flies towards the planet. Who knows? Maybe it becomes space junk. Maybe it lands. But either way... Huh. Okay, so it has to be a controllable object for you to... I kind of wanted to look at it. Like just the space junk, you know? It would be interesting. Okay. So we are not in high space, so I don't think we can do too much that's interesting in terms of gathering science. Whoa! Okay, yeah, let's not fall off there. I want to board. I would like to board, please. Okay, we're at 41,000, so I think we're good. I think we're good to go back to Kerbin. There we go. You can see our periaps is already falling, but that's fine because we're coming in at a pretty shallow angle. We don't have to worry about burning up. It's possible that our goo containers will burn up, but um, it's very unlikely that we will be damaged in that process. Whoa, okay. Now let's not let that happen. Hmm. All right, transfer crew. Yeah, none of this other stuff's very interesting, so. Our speed is very slowly coming down. That is good. That's much more ideal than the alternative, which is it coming down extremely quickly. You can see we're almost we're almost flying at around 37,000 feet. That's good. Our G-forces are in that green zone. So they're pretty low. Uh, overall, I'd say this is turning out to be a pretty good landing. We're just slowly draining off speed. Um, you'll notice that's in contrast to when we did the suborbital mission. We never left the green. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Um... The one thing that can throw you off on these is if you're coming right in at a mountain range, but uh, this does not really look like a mountain range. Looks pretty innocuous. Okay, so that doesn't vary depending on biome. That doesn't vary depending on biome. Temperature does. So we're flying over the highlands right now. Let's get a crew report. All right, and I think we just have to deploy our parachute. You can see the desert off there to the, um, I guess that might be the north. Yeah, so those aren't, that's not a true mountain range. It looks like the highest peak was maybe 4,000 meters. Um, and the atmospheric density at 4,000 meters is, is plenty thick to allow you to land safely. So that is good. Coming in for a good old landing. There we go. All right. Let's do a mystery goo. Let's do a few different science bits. Let's do a crew report. Oh, no. Nope. Let's do an EVA report. There we go. Let's store experiment, or let's take data. Let's board, take another crew report. There we go. Do another EVA. There we go. Take a 
Oh, you can't take a soil sample. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well. There we go. Good job, Jebediah. Oh. All right, let's recover our vessel. See what science we got. Okay, we have 75.6 science. I think the next things I really wanted to get were like the landing wheels right there. LT1 landing struts. Uh, so in that, in the service of that, uh, I think the flight control. And then once we have about 180, uh, we can go ahead and do that. So there we go. I think that's probably a decent place to leave it off. Um, so I, oh, I didn't want to fly that. There we go. I think we're are we looking at the looking at the sunrise off in the east. Uh, so I hope you guys have a uh, wonderful day, and thank you for listening in. Bye.